All right, so I want to start actually adding um, that that cool link functionality to my uh, footer elements over here. So first thing I'm going to start with is here is where where I'm at currently with my project. This is still there's nothing going on here. This is really like the baseline. It's just some well formatted uh, HTML, uh, clean CSS, all that good stuff. I've um, I validated it so that's not an issue. I made sure that you know the CSS is 2.0, you know, get the green pass, my HTML is good. So this is my baseline. So from here, um I'm actually going to go into So here here we go. So here's my files and I I just named them, you know, project 3 phase 1 cuz um the skeleton uh, I know what that means. So, uh, actually, here's the finished product of what I'm going to walk us through now. But what I'm going to do is every phase where I add a big, a new, new functionality, I want to, you know, make sure I have a duplicate, a backup copy of the uh, previous work because if I start working on my skeleton which I know is well formatted and and great and then I screw something up or I start screwing around with the HTML or mess around with the CSS you know I, I may get myself in a situation where um, it's gonna be difficult for me to re revert back to it and obviously this is just good practice so let me start there and so I, I know I'm at I'm at this point okay so in order for me to get that pop-up functionality that I showed you where the little boxes show up, um, well, I kind of searched around for a plugin, and uh, what I'm referring to is just this. So this comes up. Now, this plugin, really simple to use, and it's called um, Thickbox. So if you go Thickbox jQuery, it should be this Cody. Uh, Lindley's uh, thick box query, uh, thick box jQuery plugin, and really well documented. So I don't know. I guess we'll just start by, uh, you know, when you find plugins like this, you know, you should go down and just see some examples, see if it's what you want them to be. And in fact, this is the kind of thing I want to want it to be. So um, let me start by doing the obvious and seeing what the requirements are and what I need to download. So Overview, super lightweight. It was built on jQuery, um, 20k file. That's cool. Um, here we go. This is the part I need to see. Um, so what do I need? I need to download Thickbox JS or Thickbox Compressed JS. Okay, so I'm definitely going to do the compressed. Um, then there's the CSS file that I need, and there's a loading graphic. Okay, that little line that that tells you it's loading something. I'm going to need that. Um, what else? Also, along with these three files, a copy of of the jQuery JavaScript library. Okay, I have that. Let's see. Well, I don't have it yet, but okay. Well, let's let's do that. Let's let's just get all these assets here. So let me start. Here's thickbox.js. Or you know what? Let me go back. I want to make sure I get this compressed version. I'm not gonna likely won't be doing any editing in that thing. So make sure you you. If your browser doesn't append the .js for you, make sure you add that in. Let me go back. So there's, so I got the, the compressed thick box, thick box .css. All right. Uh, let's see the loading animation. All right. See, this is the thing that you want to download because that actually does that for you. Uh, okay, and that's a .gif. What else? Let's see. And the latest version of jQuery. You know, I'm going to... So what I'm going to do this time is do just that. I'm going to download whatever the latest version of jQuery. Uh, I often just use a CDN, like uh, Yahoo, or Yahoo, rather, Google, or, or, or um, MSN. But this time, I'm just going to download the the full version and this is the min okay this is the good one that I want the compressed version here we go alright so so far I have everything I need so let me go into oh, whoops let me go into Dreamweaver and 
open up my document let's see no, that's wrong one here we go here's the working one and let me actually just add all of these things to the source code of my page actually I guess I'm gonna before I do that I'm gonna need to move all of this stuff into the folders that I have set over there so working here we go let me color this so I got my CSS folder I might as well start my scripts images um, yeah that should do it so let's see so thickbox.css I'll put in my CSS file uh, jQuery in my scripts uh, another is compressed and uh, the image alright just trying to keep stuff neat over here so I'm, I'm already a little concerned because I put these I kinda changed this or I put these files into my own unique folder structure so I gotta be careful with within the CSS or the jQuery they may there may be um, paths to specific to that graphic or something like that so I need to kinda keep that in mind that if uh, like that loading graphic doesn't happen or something like that it may be that um, it's expecting the file in some other folder. I I don't know this to be true yet. I'm this is kind of like but what I'm anticipating since I'm messing around with the folder structure myself. Um, let's see. Whoops, I got too many windows open. Let me close some windows out here for you guys. Doesn't drive you nuts. Okay, so where is my Dreamweaver? All right, so let me go straight into Code View. And now I want to actually add. Um, I'm gonna add links to all these files at this point, right? I'm just gonna hook hook my page into this new thing I got. So let's see, I got main.css, and since I put that file also into my CSS, into that same folder, let me go about it this way just to play it safe. Um, Uh, thick box, okay. All right, that's there. I mean, I guess I have the option. I could also import this into my main.css file. Um, I could do that, but I don't want to do that. You know, I, you know that CSS reset that I set in my main.css. That's relevant. This thick box, it's, it's like its own little thing. I'm not necessarily going to add it because there's a whole lot of stuff in there. Um, what else do I need to add? So I needed to add that. Oh, now I need to add, of course, I need to add a link to jQuery. So let's see, script. Uh, the type is, let's see, text JavaScript. Okay. And now the source, I'll browse it. And where do we, oh, oh, I see. I didn't put in my jQuery. Is it still on my desktop? Where did I put jQuery? Oh, I, oh, I'm looking in the, oh man, I'm looking in the wrong place. Okay, I better be careful with that. Let's see, working. Um, there we go. Did I? No, thick box. Okay, I'm just, I'm just a little confused over here. All right, close this out. So that's for jQuery, and now the last thing. Uh, well, how about if I just do it this way? Paste that in there, and now. I'll use now I need to make sure I have the thick box set in alright so just to make sure let's see yeah all these assets are showing up over here so really, really the two main things or the three main things I just added link to was the thick box the jQuery but I, I, and oh, I need to link to the thick box compressed and it's not in there oh there it is okay and it showed up alright just making sure that all these new things that I've added are actually showing up okay this is a good good baseline for um, for actually starting to use that functionality